slavery legally sanctioned uh, in the South and for a long time in the North as well was supported at every turn by legal structures. So something that, uh, that I like to use a lot in teaching just to get uh, students thinking about this are uh, these are receipts. These are uh, receipts. And uh, the one I'm holding right now is dated Norfolk, September 17th, 1853. It's a printed receipt that's been filled out. It's something that it's very similar in a way to something that you might buy at an office supply store. If you went and needed a book of receipts because you had a business, it's got a blank space that you can fill in place and date, and then it says 185 and blank. So just like Today, in writing a check, you might have a, a set of receipts. Just to make things easier, they might write 200, and then you can put in 2009 or 2008 or something like that, just to make it just a little easier in filling out um, a receipt. Uh, it's got this. It's, for, it's for obviously a book of receipts uh, that you can fill out all through the 1850s. Uh, then it says, received of blank, blank dollars, being in full for the purchase of blank Negro slave named blank. The right and title of said slave, blank warrant, and defend against the claims of all persons whatsoever, and likewise warrant blank sound and healthy, as witness my hand and seal, and then the title uh, of this. And it's very elegant 19th century receipt. It's not, uh, it's, it's in a nice filigreed kind of handwriting. It's got uh, lovely illustrations uh, on the side that depict kind of the engines of commerce uh, for the time. There's a uh, steamboat, and there's a clipper ship, and there's a railroad. And it says, Murphy and Company uh, Printers, Baltimore. Thinking about it, now who, how many people are involved in this receipt? It's being printed by a printer in Baltimore, but it's being printed for probably a lot of people. But, but this one in particular, it's noted it's sold by a bookseller uh, in Richmond. This particular receipt is dated uh, in Norfolk. Um, now, if you were teaching students using this for the classroom, one of the first things you might want to do uh, is list all of the all of the locations that are on this receipt and any of the other receipts you are, so that students get a sense of the geography of the place, like where's Baltimore in relationship to Richmond, uh, and why and where's Norfolk, and why might this receipt uh, be dated in Norfolk? 